In the wake of that story about uh, that we spoke uh, about the implications of lead the other day, um, this coming out of um, I think it was uh, the journal Environmental Health. We know and we have known for many years the that mercury pollution affects the development of children's brains. Uh, a story, I've mentioned this several times before, a story that came out, I think, in the Times uh, last year around this time, suggested that mercury doesn't just gather in the oceans, as we've been told. I mean, for instance, my wife is pregnant right now, and she is expressly forbidden by her uh, doctor to eat certain types of fish, particularly large fish, which eat other fish, uh, and to um, not eat too much fish in general because the lead has built up in the oceans. I mean, excuse me, the mercury is built up in the oceans. Smaller fish get eaten by bigger fish. The mercury does not disperse. It doesn't work its way through its, your system, whether you're a human or a fish. It builds up, it aggregates. And so um, pregnant women are told basically no tuna uh, and, a, and a whole series of other uh, fish because of this mercury poisoning. We know uh, from reports last year that they are now finding that mercury also builds up in wooded areas. And the implications of that are that insects ingest this mercury from the soil. Birds ingest these insects. And it is having a neurological effect on these birds that is threatening their existence. Because if you're a songbird, for instance, uh, and the way that you mate is by hitting a certain note that stimulates other songbirds, and you have some neurological damage because of this mercury, you can't hit that note. And they're finding that some birds can't find their way back to their nests because the slight neurological damage throws off their very sensitive uh, system of, of navigation. And now, uh, apparently for the first time, a Danish-led European research project, like I said, uh, published in the journal Environmental Health, states that global mercury pollution affects children's brain, brain functions and thus their odds of getting a low-salary job. The total annual loss of life earnings amounts to 9 billion euro, euro dollars. Now, it seems I, there's no way that you can measure the implications of kids having lower IQs and uh, neurological damage throughout their lives because of mercury. But it is in the context of the way that we do things in this world now. It's very helpful to have some type of dollar figure to put on this. We talked about the implications of uh, the lead story that we're talking. Even if it costs us $20 billion of dollars to remediate lead from where it is today, the return on that investment is just massive and almost incalculable. Um, this is the first time scientists have calculated what financial impact it has on the individual when a person's brain function, in terms of a lower IQ, and then uh, thus a poor education and lower income, is impaired as a result of mercury population. Philippe Grandjean, the uh, de uh, professor at Department of Environmental Medicine at the University of Southern Democrat, uh, de Denmark, I should say, uh, our calculations show that every couple of hundred thousand children in the EU are born with mercury levels that exceed the maximum levit, uh, le limit every, uh, every year. Uh, that's a total loss of 700,000 IQ points, and it adds up to a reduction of $9 billion in lifetime earnings for all the children who are born each year in the EU. They assess the extent to which children have been affected by the brain poison at the fetal stage based on measurements of mercury concentration in the hair of young mothers. A large share of the mercury pollution takes place in developing countries 
where huge amounts of mercury are used to leach gold from rocks and sediments from mining. Uh, and even more so, every year many tons of mercury end up uh, in nature. Uh, on that account, the greatest problem, however, is the combustion of coal. Coal-fired power plants around the world and including this country. The harmful mercury disappears slowly from our environment. A significant portion of the mercury we're exposed to today dates all the way back to the beginning of the industrialization in the mid-1800s. Since then, the amount of harmful mercury in our environment has ra risen dramatically so that uh, today's levels are about 10 times higher than the natural occurring levels of mercury. So uh, one more example of how essentially certain industries poison the rest of us and we end up paying for these externalities. We are subsidizing these businesses with our own health, our own loss of productivity, our own neurological dysfunction across society. I don't know how you deal with that short of governmental regulation. Saying that you just can't do this. Not that you got to pay a fine. Not that you got to kick back people to in a uh, some type of tort case. No, you just can't do it. 